The old way to obtain materia had a lot of really good design functions to it. You could grind solo or in a group within the old world of Eorzea, and mobs relevant to the level of the materia you were trying to obtain. This fed nicely into the community aspects of the game, with groups of players often forming spirit brine grind parties in locations such as Earth's Fount, in Quarry Mill, killing water elementals with crafted sets of gear, often with multiple sets in their inventory to swap out once they had 100% in each piece of gear and had converted it into materia. The sets used for spirit binding could be sold by crafters on the market board and served a purpose within the economy of the game. You needed gear to get spirit bind, which wasn't your raid gear and crafters could provide that set for Gale at the same time. This promoted interaction in the markets and helped push the MMO aspect via the spirit bind system alone. However, in 2021 we have materia coming out of our asses due to the ability to spirit bind raid gear without destruction and the mass amount of cracked clusters from server hunt hopping. Unfortunately, this system has killed off the intricacies of the previous spirit bind system and has crashed the market for materia. Additionally, the game is filled with dead materia that serves little to no purpose, which is a shame as some of the more unique materia choices could have been used for horizontal progression, which the game currently suffers from. It's another step towards stripping away the aspects of Final Fantasy XIV with potential and failing to reconstruct current content into new and intuitive ways, a trend which we have seen with the removal of 8 vs 8 player vs player, which was a mode of chaos and madness, often adding to the achievement hunting aspect of the game, and lastly the role skill action system. Hopefully we can see a shift in the expansion for content like this, but we'll have to see. Let me know your thoughts below, and I'll see you in the next one.